Hello, it's Dave here at Tony Works. This is just a very quick project. Uh, it's a bowl for someone I know called Marcus. He's a customer of mine at work, but he's also a sort of mate as well. So he's a really nice bloke. and um, He's sort of been my biggest fan, really, because he's been asking me for a bowl ever since I first started. So uh, uh, this one's for him. Now, I have already done the project, so I'm just doing the intro retrospectively. Uh, but this is a bowl. It's a very nice, quite heavy actually, oak bowl. Not too thick, probably a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch walls. Uh, quite nice, nice thick base. Uh, it's shaped in, I don't know if you can see that, you'll see in a picture at the end, it's shaped like a whiskey tumbler. Um, because I know he likes the odd um, glass of whiskey now and then. As we all do, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway, that's why it's that shape. Um, but it's basically, he's moving up to Norwich at some point, um, which uh, he will be missed. So um, this bowl is to, for him to take up to Norwich. So it's got a nice sort of, nice foot, beautiful curve on there. It's a bit more dramatic than I normally do. You can see it against my beard there, that bit more dramatic. But I said it's, it's because it's meant to look like a whiskey tumbler. Uh, but it's just for him to chuck his loose change and keys in at his new place, uh, new place. And I thought that um, since he'd probably be drunk when he's putting his uh, loose change in or whatever after the pub, uh, he don't want sort of sharp edges there. So I've sort of rounded them all off, so it's all safe for him. Health and safety, you see, Marcus. Eh? Important in every uh, every part of life. But as usual, it's a case of seeing what happens, even though we already know what happens because we've got the bowl here. It sort of turned out all right, actually. I'm quite pleased with it. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on with it, eh? On another note, um, I've got Christmas holidays coming up where I've actually got 18 days off. So I've got loads and loads of uh, time to play in the shed. Uh, I bought some new items recently that I'm very, very excited about. Uh, the first one, which is, most of you have probably heard about this one, it's Milliput. Okay. And, um, yeah, now there's quite a few people that use this, uh, most notably Jim Overton from Jimson Stuff, and also um, Nick Zamet from NZ Wood Turning. Uh, now I've got all three flavours, so I've got uh, super fine white, black and terracotta. So I, I'm intending to sort of do something with that, some sort of inlays in bowls or, or what have you. Um, the second thing I've got is clear cast resin. Now this has all sorts of possibilities. Um, I am quite excited about this one, but uh, I've got one thing in mind that I know if it comes out will be stunning. But that's it, my mind's a blank with this, so um, I don't want to do, because I don't like doing what everybody else does, you see, so I want to do something different, or something that, you know, not everybody has done, or, you know, I don't want to do just a bowl with, you know, a, a, a resin set bowl with, with off cuts in, and I don't want to do um, just like the standard sort of, you know, resin a pencil blank up and that sort of thing, so I want to do something special and different with these as I suppose everybody does um, but yeah so that's watch out for that one and I've just been down Lidl's today now I, I'd never ever go in Lidl's ever uh, but I was going down at uh, McDonald's today the old Mackey D's to get my festive feast of loveliness oh. that's really nice actually I've, I've, I've already had that that, that was just oh that's so nice so nice. Oh, it's gorgeous. <sighs> anyway, sorry. Um, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, so I went down Lidl's today and I bought this for seven squid. All right, and it's got different sort of bits in there. It's a camera straight. Who knows? Right, so that's got like different heads and things on it, okay? Now the, the reason why I bought this is because what I want to do, even though I do my little maker's mark down there, what I want to write on 
on them is I just want to do like a quick signature so like Dave CS uh, which is obviously my name for those wondering Dave CS and then the day so you know uh, December 2016 sort of thing just so people know what it is I mean I could might even write what the wood is but I think that's going a bit too far really people aren't really I suppose they are interested otherwise they wouldn't have bought the bar in the first place would they I don't know Good job I talk to myself, I talk sense sometimes. So yeah, so I wanna do I wanna do that and uh, so I wanna I wanna try some pyrography like Martin and Steve do and well probably nothing like them actually. That's uh yeah, that's a bit of a weird comparison really, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um so yeah, and, and that's my little update and I've also got uh yeah, I've also got all the paints and things, the, the silver and gold paints and the, the glittery paint. And the glittery paint I might try and add with something else, see what happens there. Um, but again, it's all sort of, you know, making up and uh, and see what happens, really. So, um, yeah, so look out for those and uh, enjoy this video. If you do like it, like and subscribe. Um, I'd like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers, because actually I've got 100, and, I think last count was 159. So, woohoo, we're getting on the road to stardom. Uh, not quite as many as uh, Steve and Martin and, and Mike and Carl and Nick, Jim, and, and anybody else really. But I've got quite a few now. Thank you very much for sticking with me. It's all groovy. And uh, yeah, it just, uh, it just spurs me on to actually sort of document what I'm doing out here. And, uh, you know, I have actually been wood turning for one whole year now. So I'm sort of getting to the stage where I'm looking at my own work and I'm thinking, yeah, do you know what, actually... I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right at this, so I'm I'm quite pleased um, the way it's going, and hopefully in the next year I'll be able to sort of uh, experiment a bit more uh, because this year, although I have done a lot of experiments, uh, it's mainly been about the learning and trying to get my technique down um, and sharpening with each tools. And there's so many things, um, you know, I could go on for hours, uh, but that would bore you silly, so I won't. And if you like this video, hit like. And if you want to be notified of all my new videos as they're uploaded, please hit subscribe. Um, and that will obviously spur me on to make uh, bigger and better films and uh, more interesting products for all of you guys out there. Yeah, take care and uh, see you soon. See you later, guys. notified of all my upcoming videos all the way so yeah like and subscribe and uh, if if you no. so like and subscribe and if you oh so if you like the video So, if you like the video, hit like, and if you want to subscribe to see more of my videos, to be notified of my videos when I'll oh, f***ing sake.
Really? Just f <sighs> So, if you like the video, hit like. Um, and if you want to have... Oh, f f Backwards. So, oh, f <laughs> so if you like this, oh, f sake. Oh. <laughs> mm. right, uh, okay. And if you like this video, hit like. And if you want to be notified of all my new videos as they're uploaded, please hit subscribe. Um, and that will obviously spur me on to make uh, bigger and better films and uh, more interesting products for all of you guys out there. 